Good evening, Karen, and I am here to show you a flip through of my uh, mini challenge number four. We had to make a little for the Dear Julie Julie's um, February Finish It um, Dunk Journal Challenge. Um, we had to use at least seven cards, at least five envelopes. We were to make a journal with two different types of pockets, one belly band, and two book page elements and she did do a tutorial and I did try to I did watch and try to follow along um I, I didn't do so hot at that <laughs> and I got confused and instead of tearing what I had up I just fit, finished it oh mine it's sort of like hers but not exactly I did however use all the elements um and here's the cover this is these are envelopes that were turned inside out this is like the inside of the envelopes and I have two on the outside that match so that that would be my cover um as I was working on it I had an issue with the um the spine because it had it's like this envelope was up here and this one was back here and I didn't like all this openness with different ragged edges up in the spine so I just kind of took this envelope and put the flap down in here in the back of the journal and then wrapped it around to create kind of a spine here and then of course that made this envelope this side of the envelope short so I just that's where I got the um the lace out and said okay we'll fix it <laughs> um I did have a wonderful this was definitely a challenge. I did have a good time, so thank you, Julie. Um, and I do like my journal now that it's now that it's complete. And I'm not even sure that I can tell you um, which parts of it are cards and which parts of it are envelopes. Um, and I can tell you that I could almost guarantee I would not be able to create this exact journal again. But it was fun. Here's my flip through. There is a where's my card? There is a pocket there and a pocket here. And um two little pockets here in the flaps of my two little tuck spots there in the flaps of my envelope. Um we gotta flip up flip down that I have turned into a pocket holding this um, yeah paper pad I made um this was one of the cards and I I got this one off of Julie's tutorial I was good up to this point um, I took this part of the card off to make a tuck spot with or a pocket and then in the back this piece here became a tuck spot um yeah and then there is a um pocket there and a top spot or pocket there this flips out this way with a uh a little pocket there and another one here and and here is one of the book pages that I used um, it's just decoupage napkin over top of a, a book page and I was looking for pink and that's what I came up with um, just a journaling card um, more tags and the uh, pocket made out of the flap of the envelope and there's a pocket up here with just a journal card and then in here of course there's another uh, pocket in that envelope <laughs> and another one here that has had um, the top of that pad that I used to make the paper pad back there 
Um, here's another one of my um, book page elements. Just a tuck spot and um, I just decoupage napkin on top of a book page, ripped it around the napkin and voila. <laughs> Here's my belly band that was required, um, and it just has a, a little journaling card in it. There's a card. And then this rolls out like this. And there is a pocket here. Another, another book page journaling card. Um, book page with napkin over top, backed it with white. My journaling card. And then. Um, tucked right over here. This was the top half of that. Or top piece of that card. That I made the pocket of it up front. Um, another card. <clears throat> Two more. Little tags and tuck spots. Made by. The flap. Actually flap of an envelope. Actually this is the flap. says two envelopes. I don't know how it happened, but that it did. <laughs> like I said, I'd never be able to do this again. Um, and then here's another card down the inside of this up. Down inside of that pocket. And that is my dark one. And I will probably tuck this in my purse. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll probably tuck this one in my purse and just use it instead. Um, it's different. It's cute. And I like it. I actually like the way it feels. But anyhow, thank you, Julie, for continuing to do the challenges and continuing to push me out of my comfort zone and make me really think about what I'm doing sometimes, like on this journal. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye.